Hello everyone, this is Aya from Hinawi Software ERP. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I have the HRMS roadmap opened in front of me. So this file is basically about everything regarding the HRMS module. Uh, I have covered previous videos, first of all regarding the general idea of this entire file, another video for the leaves form, entirely uh, a whole video about this topic, and another video regarding the absence form uh, among all its different ac actions and uh, activities in this uh, specific process. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about the loan form. Basically, the loan form has different parts, different branches, and different actions. So that is the main topic for today. As you can see here, we have the first branch, which is the new. We have increase. We also have the decreased loan. Refunding the loan is also there. And finally, we have the, the monthly installment adjustments. And on the left side, we have different categories uh, regarding the activities first and regarding the, the approvals, how it's applied to this specific uh, form. The setup is also applicable. And we also have uh, the status of employees, whether active or inactive. And the accounting effect on the loan form the payment methods, the different payment methods used, the collections, and finally, we have the employee type, whether HR employee or timesheet employee, along with the web mob module and the mobile module. Since Hinawi software comes uh, in either the desktop application, mobile, or web application. So those are the main content for today's video. Let's start with, first of all, creating a new activity. So this is read the following. First, we see here that we have create activity. This is applied to uh, creating a new loan. So in a new loan form, is it possible to create uh, a new activity in this process? Of course it is. Creating a new loan is there. Uh, and creating uh, a new increased loan also is there. So basically, when you create a loan, later on, you must approve, of course, and you must pay that loan. And um, in case you want to increase a loan, is it possible? Of course, it's possible. Decreasing a loan is also possible. Uh, refunding the loan is also possible. And creating a monthly installment adjustments is also there. Notice here that it's highlighted in kind of like an orange highlight. Uh, this is because you cannot proceed forwards with creating a salary sheet unless this step is completely done and um, fully accomplished. Uh, is it possible to uh, edit a loan after it has been created? Of course, you can edit a loan. And is it possible to edit a, an increased loan? Basically, in this case, you cannot. You can only edit the, the loan that has been created. But when you increase it, uh, the editing step cannot be done. Same thing applied, uh, applies here to the decreased loan. So when you decrease a specific loan, is it possible to edit that decreased? Uh, in this case, no. And same thing for refunding. Can we, ref can we edit the refunded loan? Uh, this is no. But we can, uh, as you see here, we can create a refund but not edit that um, that refund which has been created and also is it possible to edit the monthly adjustments installments the answer is no we can only create a monthly installment but not um, again edit on those let's proceed forwards with uh, voiding or deleting. Basically, this step is known for all of them, whether it's a newly uh, created for a loan form, whether it's an increased loan, a decreased, a refunded uh, on monthly installment adjustments. You cannot void or cancel any of those. But we can, however, delete a newly created loan. We cannot delete the increased loan and we cannot delete the decreased loan. And also, we can't delete a refunded loan and we can't delete the monthly installment adjustments. So that's how it's read. You basically combine the words on the left side 
along with the titles at the top and um, regarding the different different like activities we're talking about and here is it possible to uh, print the loan the newly created loan the answer is yes but we cannot print the increased decreased refunded or adjustments in the loan uh, monthly installments and now uh, does the print clearance action apply to the loan form the answer is no this is not applicable so the print clearance is not applicable and here in the design and print activity form uh, we can actually design and print the loan form the newly created loan form this is yes possible and it's there however in designing and printing the a loan form of the increased loan the decreased loan the refunded or the monthly installment adjustments this is not applicable same thing applies for a predefined uh, template for importing or autofilling. This is not there regarding importing or autofilling for any of those uh, different steps because creating a loan is done at the moment, like in the same exact time when an employee decides he or she wants a loan. So it's not imported and it's not autofilled. And here, is there a date, basically a starting date, um, a creating date, or an ending date for the loan? Of course there is. Whether you are creating a new f a loan form, or increasing a loan, an existing loan, or decreasing an existing loan, all of these three uh, contain starting date and ending date. But when refunding the loan, you do not need the starting date and ending date. Same thing applies for monthly installment adjustments. It's not required for both of them, create and end date. And date from and to, which is usually within the same month, is not applicable here because it's not necessarily like a loan installment or a complete loan process to be done in one month. It can be split and divided into several months along the year. So this is no for all of them. And as you can see here, we have months from and to and we have years from and to regarding the different loan forms uh, and basically in uh, releasing and days and hours this is not applicable for all of these as you can see here it's a huge no because you cannot release a loan like this is done for other activities you cannot put days or hours in loan. This is only for like leaves or absences, days and hours. You can't apply that for loan. Loan is not done in year, in days or in hours. It's done um, according to the different months specified. So that's the difference here. Same thing applies to uh, the percent of the employee's salary. Basically, when creating a new loan, uh, it is possible to have a different percent of employees salary based on the, the setup so basically as you see here the setup is the core of the system and you have to make sure that the setup is complete 100 percent before proceeding with the loan process however at the time of increasing decreasing refunding or in monthly installment adjustments the percent of employee salary is not applicable same thing here in the overtime, whether it's 1.25 or 1.5, or in applying different taxes, whether we're talking about uh, employee pension or in monthly provisions, all these different actions do not apply to the loan form. However, they apply to like other different types of activities. It could be like leaves or other different types, but not in the loan form. And here in the approvals category now, uh, does the loan form has or contain an approval uh, step? Of course there is, but is there an approval step regarding an increased existing paid loan? In this case, no, there isn't any approval. Same thing applies to a decreased existing paid loan. You do not approve it. Refunding is also there, but you cannot um, approve that. You can only approve uh, a created loan, a newly created loan, not an increased, decreased or refunded loan. Same thing for monthly installment adjustments. You cannot uh, approve that. And 
in the first step here, after you create a loan and approve that loan, is it possible to edit after approval? The answer is yes. But here, since the first row is no, so automatically this is no. Same thing applies here uh, between those two and between those two and those two. The answer is no automatically. Uh, voiding after approval, is it possible for uh, the newly created loan? The answer is no. However, we can delete the loan after it has been approved. The newly created loan, which has been approved, it is possible to delete it. But it's no for all the other uh, different steps. And as you see here, there isn't any effect on the salary sheet. Payment is by PV only. So for a newly created loan that has been created and approved, um, you cannot see any effect on the salary sheet because payment is done by the PV, the payment voucher only. And here we have in the notes, it says that the system can do individual or group of approval activities. So basically, you can approve more than one activity for more than one employee at the same time. But always keep in mind that the system can do approval of the salary sheet by selected employee names or selected positions or selected departments. So it is possible to approve the salary sheets based on a specific employee, a specific position, a specific department, or the entire month. Next, in this other uh, category we have, let's talk about the setup. Is there a setup for the loan form? The answer is yes. There is one setup for both, whether it's a newly created loan or an increased loan, increased existing paid loan, there is a setup. But there isn't any setup for decreasing the loan. There isn't a setup for the refunding process. And there isn't a setup for the monthly installment adjustments. Basically, those two first two only apply for the setup and it will read instantly from the setup and is there an effective date for um, the loan process the actual answer is no for all of them you don't need to have an effective date in the loan uh, activity process and as you can see here it doesn't affect the status of employees they are active in all steps in all processes whether the loan is refunded, whether there is an increase or a decrease in the existing paid loan, whether you have monthly adjustment installments, all these different steps do not affect the status of employees where they will still stay active. And active, of course, means that they can proceed with activities easily and clearly without being deactivated from the system, whereas inactive means that you cannot use those activities, you cannot see those employees, they will be blocked in the salary sheet and you can't even search for their names. Next, let's move to the accounting effect, basically in a newly created loan form or at the time of uh, increasing an existing paid loan, there isn't any effect for accounting. And as you see here, the effect in accounting is at the time of payment only not at the time of creating and not at the time of increasing. And here, is it possible to post to accounting when you have a decreased loan? The answer is yes, of course. There is an accounting effect and no cash refund. So that's when we decrease the existing paid loan. And at the time of refunding, there isn't any posting to QuickBooks at the time of receiving the money only. And here at the time of monthly installment adjustments of the loan process, you do not uh, post to accounting. So in this step, we can't. And at the time of um, like seeing the accounting effect on a decreased existing paid loan, is uh, the journal voucher or the payment voucher used? In this case, the JV, which is the journal voucher. This is used and regarding the credit side, we have two different sides here, two different types. Uh, first of all, at the time of creating a newly, newly loan process or increasing in that loan process, the credit cash or bank side is used. However, at the time of decreasing the loan, the actual credit side is credit loan. And as you see here in the memo, at the time of receiving money only, you can proceed forwards with this step, which is uh, refunding.
that's the accounting effect so the accounting effect works for the refunded loan only at the time of receiving the money next in this category of payment methods we actually have cash payment used for both created loans and increased loans we also have check payment applied to both increased loans or created loans we also have the bank transfer method when creating a new loan or when increasing the loan and uh, the updating to ledger is not applicable for any of those and at the time of decreasing refunding or in monthly ins adjustment installments you cannot have any cash payment check payment or bank transfer those two are applied only to increasing the loan or creating the loan and in the salary sheet which is the JV as you see here you don't have that used for creating a new loan and salary sheet also cannot be done here for the incre increased loan it's not for the decreased or the refunded it's only at the time of monthly installment adjustments you can proceed forwards with the JV salary sheet and notice here it's highlighted in orange which means that you cannot create the salary sheet unless this step is done which is the monthly installment adjustments unless they are complete now what about the debit side basically of the loan form in creating a new form of loan or in increasing a loan form they both have the debit side of staff loan however in decreasing a loan form the debit side expenses company decided not to charge to employee so that's an important point and company decides not to charge to employee and in here as you can see what is the employee's salary status at the time of creating a loan whether it's uh, a newly created loan whether it's an increased a decreased a refunded or monthly installments in all cases the employee's salary status is active and notice here that the installments will start deducting from employees after payment of loan not after approval so when a, when a loan is created approved and then paid um, that is when the installment will start deducting from employees not only after approval no it has to be after approval and after payment as well so that's an important point which should be taken into consideration and in this notes as you see here all the payments will be selected from the HRMS activities menu so for example at the time of paying for the increased existing paid loan that is done from payment of activities which is located in the HRMS module not from the accounting module same thing applies here the system cannot do partial payments for all types of activities and salary sheets so basically in general the HRMS activity is linked with accounting as you know so payment will be done from HR and automatically will be uh, reading like accounting module will be reading from that you don't have to to go to the accounting module to um, proceed with the payment it's all done from HR and now regarding collections basically this is not applicable for creating a new loan it's not applicable for increasing an existing paid loan and it's not applicable for decreasing an existing paid loan it's applicable for refunding the loan as received voucher and it's not applicable for the monthly installment adjustments and as you see here it will read from the requested loan refund so the RV which is the receipt voucher is applicable for a refunded loan which will read from the requested loan refund and whether you have an HR employee or a timesheet employee both of them have the loan process applicable on them and you can create loan for any of those employee types and now in the web module notice that it is possible to actually create a loan from the web application but it's not possible to increase that loan that has been created decrease refund or adjust in the monthly installments all these are not applicable and editing voiding rejecting approving it's also not applicable only creating a loan is applicable in our web application but in the mobile application the entire loan process is not applicable in there we did not cover the loan process in the mobile application but in the desktop application all these steps are covered in depth 
So that is the main um, basic information and explanation regarding today's video in this um, loan process. I hope it was clear and pretty simple and straightforward along with all its, its categories and um, different procedures. Please make sure you watch our other videos because I have covered um, different videos regarding each activity and in each of this module uh, about HRMS. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video along with our other videos with your friends or anybody interested in the HRMS module or any of our uh, modules in this ERP system. Thank you.